Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another plug side chat. So this topic is going to be maybe a little negative, a little pessimistic, but I think it's important to talk about. You know, we can't always just talk about the positives uh, because there are some major hurdles that electric vehicles need to overcome, uh, you know, in order to replace internal combustion vehicles. And uh, really, I think we need to look at the actual numbers because I don't think that we're being necessarily realistic in terms of rates of growth and how much time it's actually going to take uh, to you know, replace or offset the number of internal combustion engine vehicles that we are currently seeing used for personal transportation. The last count that I saw in the United States alone there were about 250 million registered internal combustion engine vehicles on the road. If you use last year's numbers, the 2018 plug-in sales numbers for the United States, it doesn't look as bad, right? I think the 360-something thousand is about what uh, Inside EVs had quoted in their estimates for total sales of plug-in vehicles. And Frankly, though, I think that might be a little bit inflated, at least for now. We had the surge in demand toward the end for the Tesla Model 3, you know, that had been pent up demand for several years at that point. But we're starting to see that those deliveries stabilize in the United States as somewhere between 10 and 15,000 a month, which I think is what we should expect for demand for the Tesla Model 3. But I don't think we're going to hit anywhere close to 360,000 plug-in vehicles sold in 2019. And, you know, if you just look at that current amount, though, if there are 250 million internal combustion engine vehicles in the United States, well, you're looking at well over 750 years at 300,000 vehicles a year to replace all of those gas cars. 750 years that's a lot right and so what if tesla met their goals of maybe 500,000 a year and i think that's reasonable with something like the model y i think that will sustain enough demand with the model 3 and other evs that tesla is providing that you know that would be a reasonable number 500,000 in a year well 500,000 in a year to replace 250 million you're still looking at 500 years. And we do have automakers like GM and Nissan who are also contributing. If they can up their EV sales count to 500,000 a year, maybe we bring in a couple more automakers along with that. Say there are five automakers in the US releasing 500,000 EVs a year. Well, you're still looking at 100 years to replace all of the internal combustion engine vehicles currently on the road with electric vehicles. So this is something that it's going to take a huge effort and a sea change in terms of the auto industry to start producing enough electric vehicles, right? If we're talking about replacing all of the gas powered vehicles on the road in a decade, you know, recent reports saying that society might end by 2050 if we don't turn around our addiction to fossil fuels well you know a decade that would require us to sell more evs per year than we're currently selling vehicles period just to replace the internal combustion engine vehicles that are on the road right now so uh you know that's why i'm saying i think we need to sort of temper our expectations in terms of how much can get done really in a reasonable amount of time. But I also think it does mean that we need to be uh, strategic about which electric vehicles we emphasize. You know, I, I'm a huge uh, believer in Pareto's principle, which is essentially an 80-20 rule that 20% uh, of your effort, if done wisely, will result in about 80% of the results. And I think that applies to offsetting fossil fuel usage as well. If you run the numbers, you probably find something similar to 20% of the current internal combustion engine vehicles are consuming 80% of the fossil fuels. And those are probably the vehicles that do need to be emphasized 
the most by electric vehicles. So yeah, it's great to have efficient EV sedans and small vehicles, but it really does seem that we're going to need to be replacing the more thirsty, if you will, gas powered vehicles, things like the trucks and the SUVs, because those are the ones that are consuming the most in terms of fossil fuels. And if that rule applies, it means that instead of replacing 250 million internal combustion engine vehicles, maybe in the next few years, we should be looking to replace 50 to 60 million of those key internal combustion engine vehicles uh, that will have the greatest effect. And again, in terms of climate change, in terms of the changes to our environment, it's going to be a long time fixing the problems that we've led up to. And electric vehicles are only a small portion of that, but they are a key and important portion of it. I think we just need to be realistic about how long it's actually going to take to finally start replacing all of the hundreds of millions of gas-powered vehicles that are already on the road. I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, do you think that that's uh, maybe something that's so daunting that people might give up, given the idea that climate change could possibly end society as we know it within the next few decades? If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And thank you for watching.